Hello amazing people, how are you today? I hope you are all are having an amazing day and you are ready to begin another free code camp challenges about the CSS grid. If you didn't watch my previous video, I started working on the CSS grids, so just uh, go there and watch that video, because today you're going to continue from the point that we finished uh, the other time. Also, if you're new to my channel, my name is Eleftheria, thank you very much for watching, and if you like this kind of content, just share and subscribe. Let's do this and let's continue with the CSS grids. So I'm going uh, to click on Control and Enter or just click on it and let's see this challenge. So it says use grid column to control spacing. Up to this point, all the properties that have been discussed are for grid containers. The grid column property is the first one for use on the grid items themselves. The hypothetical horizontal and vertical lines that create the grid are referred to as lines. These lines are numbers starting with one of the top left corner of the grid and move right for columns and down for rows, counting upwards. This is what the line looks like for a 3 to 3 grid. Okay, rows 1, 2, 3, 4 and columns 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, sometimes if you're a programmer you may have used this as a zero, so it goes zero, one, two, three, but this time as far as I can see it's one to four. Anyway, to control the amount of columns an item will consume, you have you can use the grid column property to conjunction with the line numbers you want the item to start and stop at. Here is an example, grid column one third. This will make the item start at the first vertical line of the grid on the left and span to the third line of the grid consuming two columns. Alright, make the item, the class item 5, consume the last two columns of the grid. Okay, we want the last two columns of the grid. I'm just going to copy this and go to the class item 5. So let me think one more time. We want to consume the last two column lines. So I guess I'm going to give it like this. And we are correct. Nice. Yes, I can see this one. So now it says use grid row to control spacing. Of course, you can make items consume multiple rows just like you can use columns. You define the horizontal lines you want an item to start and stop at using the grid straw property on a grid item. Make the element with the item 5 class consume the last two rows. Okay, so this time I'm going to have the row, but I think that the answer is going to be the same, like 2 to 4, and yes. That's nice. So what else? Align an item horizontally using justify self. In the CSS grid, the content of each item is located in a box which is referred to as a cell. You can align the content's position within each cell horizontally using the justify self property on a grid item. By default, this property has a value of stretch which will make the content fill the whole width of the cell. This uses grid property accepts other values as well. So you have the start, which aligns the content on the left of the cell, the center, which aligns the content in the center of the cell, and last but not least, the end, which aligns the content at the right of the cell. So use the justify self property to center the item with the class item 2. I will copy the justify self. I'm going to item 2 and it's a just center, right? Alrighty. Yes, I can see the difference now. You can view it here and I think that we are ready to continue. Alright, align an item vertically using align self. 
just as you align an item horizontally, obviously, there is a way to align an item vertically as well. To do this, you use the Align Self property on an item. This property accepts all the same value as the Justify Self from the last challenge. Okay, cool, I like that. So I will just take the Align Self property. I'm going to item 3 and maybe... Uh, no, it says end. Oh, sorry, I thought it was sender, but it clearly says end. <laughs> okay, let's see if this one is correct. And I can read here the result. We are correct. So, so far, we are ready to continue. And this time, we have aligned all items horizontally using justify items. Sometimes you want all the items in your CSS grid to share the same alignment. True. You can use the previously learned properties and align them individually, or you can align them all at once horizontally by using justify items on your grid container. And I think that is obviously a better idea. <laughs> this property can accept all the same values you learned about it in the previous two challenges. The difference being that it will move all the items in our grid to the desired elements. Okay, so let's just take this justify items property, use the property to center all the items horizontally. So I guess that I have to use the center. Yes, and I did that. <laughs> Alright, let's continue with one more. And it says align all items vertically using align items. So using the align items property on a grid container will set the vertical alignment for all the items in our grid. So I'm going to take this align items, use it now to move all the items to the end of each cell. So just because it says end, I think that the alignment items should be end. And let's see if that's true. And it is. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching another video. If you have any question, just leave me a comment and I'll do my best to answer it. So that was the second part of the CSS grid. I hope you liked it and stay tuned because in the next video we're going to continue with more interesting things about the CSS grid. Bye!